Let's print this. I see a lot of videos out there on the internet. And one thing I noticed is that a lot of people are working way too hard. Let me show you how I do it. Get my print frog here and just let it glide easily across the paper. Especially with this mulberry paper, it's very easy to print. And you just let it glide across that. I do notice a lot of people just going to town, working hard, breaking out of sweat. And you don't need to work that hard, especially if you're going to be printing over a hundred impressions in one day. You don't need to be breaking out of the sweat for each individual impression. Another thing that I also see people doing as a sign they're working too hard is they're printing with two different bearings. They'll go over it with the print frog and then they'll finish off a focused area with a wooden spoon or the tadpole right here. But what they, but you don't need to do that. That's unnecessary. The print frog is designed with a radius edge right here, which it goes a smooth transition from the bottom around the edge. And the way that's designed is you're printing and you have that hard to reach, delicate, lightly inked area. You just work it, rock it on this edge like so, and you can focus in on the print like that. Focus in on your detailed areas. This block is not really that hard to print. Also, what my wife likes to do is she likes to use the top of the handle and use that as her focus area. Now, another thing also that I notice people when they print with a print frog is they try to use the back of the paper as the print shows through as somehow the indication of how the print is going on the other side. This is not an accurate way to tell. And I'll show you what I do. So what I do is I use a print frog to hold the paper in place like so. I'll move it back a little. I can check the corner here. Ah, that's looking good there for me. I'm going to check this other corner here. Looking good to me. So let's go for the reveal. See how easy that was?